is Sarah Young. In the previous video, I gave you my formula for making easy and quick money online. If you haven't seen that video yet, click on the image above that says video 1 and watch that video first. In the end of the last video, I promised you two things. An interview with my student Kimji and tips on how to make the maximum profit from my formula. So that's what I'm going to do. Today's video will be very inspirational. You'll hear firsthand from someone who was recently a newbie and now makes a thousand dollars a month. He will share his wisdom from his own experience. And in the next video, I'll go into some really important tips that will make your life easier. I will show you how to get visitors to click on your links. I will show you how to get Google to send you buyers and how to get high traffic sites to want to send you their own visitors as well. And I will show you how to not get banned from places. All that in the next video. Before we start with today's awesome inspirational video, I wanted to thank all the people who left me feedback on the previous video. I've read all the comments and I'd like to address some important ones. Let's move on to my computer and start with two people who have made money with my previous course and were kind enough to post here. We've got Adrian saying, good job, Sarah. Yours is one of the few systems that actually worked for me. Thanks. And Ron says, I've been on your list for a couple of years now. And in that time, I've been amazed by all the value and support you give your readers. You're one of the few lists that I'm still on because of all these things, plus your honesty and integrity. If anyone's there that has not made money online, I can attest to the fact that if you listen to Sarah and take action, you will see results. And the reason why I'm showing you these is because I want you to know that you should listen to me. And even though what I'm saying is very simple and straightforward, it does work. Okay, so in my previous video, I asked that you leave your biggest takeaway and your biggest question. So what I've done is picked my favorite two takeaways that I wanted to point out to you. The first is from Tom. Tom says, rather than chase Google the old way to attract traffic, you're actually going to where the traffic is already and letting Google find you. What a concept. Thanks Tom for putting it so concisely and simply, this is exactly what we are doing. The second takeaway that I want to point out is from Darcy. Darcy wrote, I should stop overcomplicating this and just get something going. Yes, exactly. And that's why I call it easy paycheck formula. It's simple. So those were my favorite two takeaways. The next thing I want to do is answer the three biggest questions that came up. Question number one was about getting traffic, how I get traffic to my site, how I rank high on Google, how I get high traffic blogs and forums to send me traffic. This was asked by Lois, by Greg, Arnie, Judy, Sunita, Isabel, Carol, and Beth. They all asked questions related to traffic. So what I want to do, first of all, is repeat from the last video that I get about half my traffic from Google and the rest come from high traffic blogs, forums, and from Facebook. And you can go back to that video and take a look, but that is where my traffic comes from. I don't get any paid traffic and I don't do any paid advertising. Now, people wanted to know exactly how I do it, exactly how do I find these high traffic sites, what do I post there, what kind of SEO I do, and you know what? That is a major part of my actual course, my training, because there I show you step by step exactly how I do it. You actually watch me over my shoulder and then you can do the same. So I can't give you all this training in this short video. However, what I'm going to teach you in the third video in this series is really going to help you with that. It's going to help you squeeze as much traffic as possible from both Google and high traffic sites. So stay tuned for that for something that will really help you get as much traffic as possible. 
Now, the next biggest question was asked by Karen and Karen, two very similar names. Here's Karen's question. She wants to know, you recommend choosing popular products, but doesn't that saturate the net with reviews for the same products? And that is a very good question. A lot of people ask that, and that's because people think that there are only a few popular products, but that's not the case. If you think about it, there are popular products in almost every niche. For example, there are popular cameras for photographers, popular guitars for guitar players, popular strollers and car seats for parents, popular handbags and purses for purse and handbag collectors. There are popular shoes for people who really like shoes and on and on every little niche has its own popular product and it's huge it's endless and therefore there's plenty of room for people to promote popular products because there are just so many niches and so many products that are actually popular the last question that a lot of people asked was asked by tim desley rondo laura edwin stephen kevin charles and mary Let's take a look at one of them, Stephen. Stephen wants to know, is this new upcoming course an update to the original Easy Paycheck Formula or a newer paid version? So the answer is neither. Easy Paycheck Formula 2 is not an update of Easy Paycheck Formula 1, and it's not a newer version of Easy Paycheck Formula 1. It is something completely new. It's a different formula. So Easy Paycheck Formula 1 is one formula for making money, and Easy Paycheck Formula 2 is a different formula for making money. They both work right now, but if you have to choose between the two, Easy Paycheck Formula 2 is definitely better because it is what works best now in 2013. And what I like the most about it is that it does not rely on Google, and the Easy Paycheck Formula 1 does rely on Google. So again, it is not an update, it is not a newer version, it is a totally different course. It's formula number two, a different formula, and if you liked Easy Paycheck Formula 1, you're definitely going to like Easy Paycheck Formula 2. So that answers the three biggest questions about video one. Okay, so now we're ready to get to the interview. I've actually interviewed two people for you, not just one. They are both students of mine who are making around $1,000 a month using my affiliate method. And it's important that you listen to them because they're regular people like you and me who are making it online. And what I want you to realize is if that they could do it, you can do it too. That's what I want you to keep saying to yourself throughout the interview. Okay? If they can do it, you can do it too. So I'm going to bring you the most interesting part of the interviews that I made, the bits that will teach you and inspire you. But first, let's introduce them. They both have very interesting and inspirational stories. The first student is Chris James from the UK. Chris started out as an architect in Dubai, but that didn't last long. Two years ago, I was working in Dubai as an architect and when the economy crashed I started looking for ways to make an income and I started looking for uh, information online. Chris found himself unemployed. He tried many different things from cookie cutter sites to online multi-level marketing to creating his own product. He put a lot of effort into these sites but they didn't work for him. Then. One day he came across a course that taught him how to build affiliate sites. It took him about six months, but he finally started to make money with it. But six months was too long for him to start making money from something. So then he came across my course. Why did he decide to try out my course? I was really inspired by the free methods that you're teaching and the quick way to, I thought it would be quicker to make money. And did it work? Yeah, in a, in a few weeks to a month, I started making money. So it was a lot quicker for me. 
That was Chris. We'll get some information and tips from him in a minute, but let's introduce Kimji now. The second student is Kimji from the Philippines. His story is very interesting and inspirational. He was just a freelancer getting paid $250 a month only for a full-time job when he got introduced to my method in a very unusual way. Here's how that happened. Yeah, okay, uh, this is funny. Uh, I, I got hired by someone who, who bought your uh, Easy Paycheck formula, and uh, he, he sent me your course because he wanted me to use it as a training material because um, at that time I was, I was still a beginner. Um, I really didn't know exactly how uh, people made money online. So uh, he wanted me to follow your blueprint so uh, I can make Amazon sales for him. Uh, exactly the way you taught it in Easy Paycheck Formula. So Kim G was being paid $250 a month in order to make a lot more money for someone else. So he decided to do what was pretty obvious. I thought, hey, uh, I can do this on my own. I mean, uh, nothing's really stopping me from making money online for myself because most uh, affiliate networks accept affiliates from uh, outside of the United States. So I thought, it would be nice to uh, earn an, an extra income uh, without really working for someone else. And um, besides, uh, I wasn't really planning to become a full-time freelancer, so it would also be nice if I could earn some extra income while I pursue a career in engineering. So basically, you saw that this was making money uh, for somebody else, and you just said, hey, I wanted to make money for me, so why don't I just go ahead and, and do this on my own, right? That's what, what you Yeah, that's right. That was Kimji. So now that you know who Chris and Kimji are, let's get to the meat of the interview. You know, a lot of people ask me, how many sites or web pages do we need to get to $1,000 a month? So that's what I asked Chris and Kimji. How many sites or pages do you have online that bring you $1,000 a month? Now let's be honest here. This kind of thing totally varies from person to person. And what applies to Chris and Kimji probably doesn't apply to you because everyone's different. But their answers will inspire you and show you what is possible. Let's start with Chris. Yeah, well that's really an interesting question because when I first started I thought I've got to have a thousand sites out there to make loads of money uh, but I actually only have one website one hub page and I have a YouTube video and that all adds up to make me what I'm making so wow. really just one keyword one keyword and one hub page could make you anywhere from three hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a month depending on the traffic and the the, the commission. Wow, that is amazing. So imagine what you could do if you had 10 of each. Exactly. So Chris is making $1,000 a month from one site, one hot page, and one video. That is pretty cool. How about Kimji? I, uh, the, the main uh, money sites or Web 2.0 sites I have are, are, are around uh, 30. But uh, I'm not saying that you only need 30 to make $1,000 a month because in the end it, it all depends on the type of niche that you select and uh, the keywords that you, that you pick for your campaign. So Kimji has 30 separate money pages. These are pages on three sites, the kind I told you about last time. He has 30 of those and that is what makes him $1,000 a month. Pretty cool as well, don't you think? Okay, let's move on to our next subject. I find it very inspiring to hear about people's first sales. Many people remember the first sale they made and how they felt. So let's hear from Chris how he felt about his first sale and what it meant to him. I was really excited and I can't deny I did you know, jump around the room a little bit because I think that you know, it, it gives you the the motivation to keep going, but also because I was excited as well because lots of people around you, friends and family, they, they look on what you're doing and they try and they judge and they, they kind of put it down or say this is a scam or you're wasting time. 
Well, I think the, the first sale is kind of a proof of concept. Everybody's telling you this yeah. won't work, this won't work, and suddenly, hey, if it worked one time, why shouldn't it work more, right? That's, uh, yeah, well, that's what I, I keep saying. It so, yes, the first sale gives you strength. It shows you you're doing something right, no matter what people around you are saying. Let's hear it from Kinsey now. Yeah, it felt great because the first sale is always worth celebrating because that means that what you're doing is uh, actually work. Right. The first sale is the most exciting because you know you're doing something right. Next. I know a lot of you might be thinking, if my formula is right for you, will it work for you? So this is what I did. I asked Chris and Kenji, after experiencing their own success, who they would recommend this kind of business for. Let's hear Chris. I would recommend it to anybody. Do you think um, any, anybody can do that? Yeah, anyone. I, I think people try and put barriers for them. Maybe automatically we try and find the barriers. And I think as long as you can just ignore your mind, ignore your thoughts, and just keep going and, and ask yourself the question, how can I do this? Then you're unstoppable. And Kimji? I think anyone who's, who knows how to go online, who knows how to, how to browse on websites, I think they can do internet marketing. I mean, it's all just about creating web two. Uh, you can, I mean, you can start by creating web two point properties. You don't have to know a lot of technical stuff. Or for those who want to become really full time uh, internet marketer, um, they they can do it too. Although I, I'm not gonna recommend people to quit their job just yet because um, making money online really takes some time, and um, there there really is a a learning curve. So. Uh, you can uh, just take your time to learn the things you need to know, and um, yeah. Great tip from Kimji there. Don't quit your job until you're making some money online and you know you're on the right path. So both Chris and Kimji agree that anyone can do this, and that includes you. You can do it too. Last, I asked them what tips they have for you and for other people who are not making online yet and would like to be a success online. Let's hear tips from both Chris and Kimji who have both been in your place not too long ago. And now they are well on their way already making $1,000 a month. We'll start with Chris. If you're finding there's something, if you've got a problem, rather than saying that the course you've just bought doesn't work, Go on Google and search for the answer because all the answers are out there. Um, I search the Warrior Forum or or just different forums, and and I find the answers. I just and that's a habit for me now. I I don't yeah. I just go straight onto Google and I find the answer. You're basically taking responsibility for your success. You're just exactly. determined to succeed no matter what stands in your way. I like that. Definitely. And, and again, it, it, it comes down to having a big, big enough reason why you're doing this, having a, big, having a reason bigger than your problems. And, and I think that could just be proving your friends and family wrong or, or just having the vision of, for me, it's having a laptop and traveling the world and running my business that way. So it's freedom. Um, and that could be the same for other people. But I think if you can have those in your mind and focus on those, and then and it's bigger than your problems, then I think you, you just want to keep going. Cool. So take responsibility for your own success. If you have questions, ask on forums. And have a reason big enough to motivate you to succeed. Great. Let's hear Kimji. Okay. First is that I think the, the, the biggest distraction really for, for anyone who's trying to make money online is that there are just so many distractions uh, on the internet. I mean, there are many social networking sites and you're just so tempted to uh, log in and uh, check out your friends. My, my advice would be uh, try not to get distracted. Set some goals so that you can make sure you, you, re you really achieve that goal. Uh, so set 
set your goals and uh, try not to get distracted. Uh, what I do is I, I avoid to log in to Facebook or YouTube or Twitter because I, I don't want to get distracted and I only log into those sites once I'm done with my work. And also my, my other advice is that once you've already in one blueprint that you really want to follow, let's say you want to follow the Easy Paycheck formula, try it out for, uh, give it some time, try it out, and uh, don't quit just yet because I've seen other people uh, buying one course after another. I mean, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard a lot of them from uh, forums, and they end up not earning anything because uh, they they didn't give enough time and um, effort to to really follow the blueprint that they, they just bought. So Kimji says, don't get distracted, have goals, focus on your goals, stick with one blueprint and make it work. Don't skip from one method to another. That's it. Very wise words from both Chris and Kimji. And I want you to remember that if Chris and Kimji and I can do this, so can you. In my next video, I will reveal to you the one thing that will make your visitors want to buy from you and that will make high traffic sites and also Google want to send you a ton of buyers and will also prevent you from getting banned by blogs, forums, and other sites. Just one important concept will do all that. It will be good stuff. I'm very excited about the next video because it is very important information that I'll be revealing but I'm also excited because I've decided that in my next video, I'll give you a chance to get my new upcoming course for free. This is a really awesome, powerful money-making course. So stay tuned and make sure you watch the next video because you don't want to miss your chance to get your hands on this awesome, powerful money-making strategy all free. Also, the next video is going to be the last one. So if you have any questions left, ask me now. Just post your question below here in the comment section. As before, I will read every comment. I will answer what I can either below in the comments or in the next video. I look forward to your feedback on it and I will see you in the next video.